the world has become accustomed to electrotechnical engineering without realizing it. We wake up to the sound of an alarm, fall asleep in front of the TV. We spend the day surrounded by machines, the evening with the lights on. We search the internet for inspiration on what to eat and eat what the fridge keeps fresh for us. We fall ill and take a CAT scan, recover and take a trip. We take photos on the train, from the helicopter, from the boat. We are fans of renewable energy, but we can't live without the other forms of energy. If this weren't engineering at the service of humanity, it would be a serious case of chronic dependence or a world in darkness. The profession was born with the technological development of the telegraph. We were in the 19th century and at the beginning of the next one. Radio and television gave further impulse to the recognition of electrotechnical engineering. But let's go back a bit further and mention the important names in this field in chronological order. From Newton to Einstein with his theory of relativity, who was later associated with electromagnetic fields studied by Maxwell. Then comes Marconi, the waves of Hertz, the magnetism of Ampere and Ohm's law. The path was drawn and the success of experimentation shed light onto innovation. The union of these forces and theories gave rise to a multitude of applications. Industry gave an unimaginable leap until today. New services were developed and comfort entered people's lives. Man could dream bigger dreams, illuminate the world, communicate with each other. We were entering the second half of the 20th century and now the invisible was increasingly important. The present day soon arrived, the one you see on your mobile phone display. Each call activates nothing more, nothing less than a Maxwell equation. We are agents of a seamless service, but crucial to numerous fields of industry, because they all, without exception, need an engineer to build a plan and install specialized electrical and electronic equipment. We have a decisive role at hand, critical to success. Consider this. We are responsible for the design of audio and video systems, of equipment and communication networks, so that the world can interact without boundaries. We are the engineers of automation, control and robotics, of large-scale industrial instrumentation, so that the world can produce more and better. We are agents of power, the power we produce and transport to different centers of activity, to your workplace, to your home. We also define the safety and quality standards of all these devices. And if energy is life, our work is synonymous with the quality of life. We are active in the construction and deconstruction of concepts, phenomena, electromagnetic systems and products. And in this large field, we specialize in numerous areas control systems and instrumentation, energy and power systems, electronics and computers, telecommunications, automation and industrial control systems, robotics. Always versatile, we rely on the cooperation between various engineering specialities and other areas of knowledge, such as architecture, economics, design, all for the sake of a more intelligent product. Today, we are much more than electrotechnical experts. We deal with investment markets, consulting, and of course, research. Because this brings yet more changes, more jobs, better opportunities. Whatever the area of intervention is, at the top of our pyramid is the need to find rapid solutions. Keeping the balance between costs and benefits, and with respect for the environment, in order to achieve this, the electrotechnical engineer calls on her or his vast knowledge and applies it simultaneously to a single objective. Bridging different areas of study and science, a professional with extensive skills is formed with a broad view, open to the world, and that with a lack of any pretension is able to absorb what he or she sees and gives back to the people what they most need. Can you imagine modern life without lifts, water pumps or ventilation systems, or a home without a microwave? vacuum cleaner or a coffee machine, an office without a printer, computers or mobile phones. 
Can you imagine turning on the light switch and continuing in darkness? Well, we are the guilty ones. We are responsible for all this. At the beginning of the course, there is the will, aptitude for mathematics and physics, and above all, a personality that is both keen and curious, the desire to create. This could be the formula for a candidate for a degree course in electrotechnical engineering. Along the way, the encounter with programming, electrical component theory, and electrotechnical engineering. Then, over to the labs, followed by computer technology, where computer systems are decoded and the future is programmed. With all these areas in constant development, the electrotechnical engineers can't stand still. They must regenerate their knowledge just as they do with energy. The Portuguese Engineers Association makes every effort to ensure that the solid goals of rigor and quality in higher education are met. Among job opportunities are companies involved in the production, transportation and distribution of electricity, as well as those who supply water. The electrotechnical engineer can also work in modern industries, hospitals and hotels, telecommunications, airports and refineries, and in the technical departments of local or central government. And we guarantee that the list does not end here. With much imagination can come concrete details. And our action in the health sector reinforces today the importance of this field. A career with vast attractions and challenges on a global scale. And the opportunities are expanding with international partnerships in the field of research and development. At the Portuguese Engineers Association, we work with the same assumptions. A well-placed knowledge network that supports young professionals, celebrates veterans, and unifies an area that is specialized throughout its career. Tomorrow will be more vibrant and the future is lived today in four dimensions. Electric mobility, renewable energy and the environment, health and life sciences application, and, as might be expected, the fourth generation of mobile networks. For now, video conferencing in a short while, holograms, more than ever, the invisible is real.